A few months ago, I made a video on the Rimac Nevera. Now back when I made that video, the car had just taken the record for being the fastest accelerating car in the world, reaching 60 in under 2 seconds and completing the standing quarter mile in 8.6 seconds. Well, that record has now been taken from Rimac by a company that shares the same power plant, the Pininfarina Batista, and this 2000 horsepower EV has been breaking world records left, right and center. It's a car that exudes Italian flair and has been crafted by the best in the business. The Batista is a result of a collaboration between Pininfarina and Rimac, which has resulted in a car that is unlike anything else on the road today. While the company is headquartered in Munich, Germany, it is handbuilt in Battista Atelier in Cambino, Italy, by a team of skilled craftsmen who put in over 1,250 man hours to produce each one. But what sets the Batista apart from the rest is its sheer power. With a 120 kilowatt hour battery and four electric motors, one at each wheel, it delivers a mind boggling 1,900 horsepower and 2,400 newton meters of torque, or enough to pull a small village. This stupid amount of power and torque is enough to propel the car from 0 to 62 faster than a Formula 1 race car. And that's not all. Pininfarina claims that the Batista has a range of 300 miles or 482 kilometers on a single charge, making it a semi-practical car for everyday use. But let's be honest, you're not going to be spending 2.25 million on a car that you will use on your daily commute. If you have the money to buy this car, you'll be taking it out on the open road and pushing it to its limits. Now, when Pininfarina did just that and pushed the car to its limits, they found out exactly how fast the car was. And while they had fun, they set a series of performance world records. The car achieved the sprint from 0 to 60 in a jaw-dropping 1.79 seconds, while 0 to 120 took just 4.49 seconds. And if you think that's impressive, the car also set a new quarter-mile record for a production vehicle at 8.55 seconds, beating the previous record holder, the Rimac Namira, by 0.03 seconds. Not a big difference, I know, but when you drop into the 8s, on the quarter mile with the production car, the differences won't be very big. And then number one and two on the list, like the Rimac Nevera and the Pininfarina Batista, share the exact same power plant. But before we go deeper into this video, here is a quick reminder to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to, of course, which you do, so subscribe! I normally don't really plug for people to subscribe. I just wanted to see if it makes a difference. Um, yeah. So if you would like the video, leave a like, subscribe, and let's continue on with the video. Anyways, it's not just about speed with the Batista. The car comes equipped with a computer-controlled suspension and active aero, which helps to adjust the rear wing to balance drag and downforce. This not only helps the car to achieve faster speeds, but also ensures that it handles better in the corners. And let's not forget the car's design. Pininfarina is renowned for their ability to create beautiful cars, and the Batista is no exception. The car's aero body not only makes it look stunning, but also helps it cut through the air with ease. This thing is beautiful, and with only 150 units being produced, it's safe to say that owning a Batista is a massive status symbol. In conclusion, the Pininfarina Batista is not just a car, it's a work of art. From its stunning design to its mind-blowing performance, this car is a testament to the skill and craftsmanship of the team behind it. If you are lucky enough to get your hands on one, you can be sure that you are driving one of the most powerful and beautiful cars ever created. Just a shame it doesn't sound like this. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll like all of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.